Hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. It is day 15 of the 31 days of Halloween challenge and I will be making a bloody apron for work as a display because apparently my boss wants like seasonal display of aprons or a theme or whatnot. So I am using the McCall's 7208 which is this one and out of all the illustrations we're going to be doing i'm doing the one this one i'm doing the very first one uh my co-worker already did one for b i think hers just is like a really cutesy one and then my other co-worker i think she did c and it's all christmas themed so because it is halloween my boss wants me to do a bloody apron and i'm going to be modifying a little bit differently because um, the pockets here are just squared but I'm thinking behind the pockets we're gonna do some bloody drips so that's why I got like extra extra of this shadow play fabric which is my favorite it's my favorite collection when it comes to like lining with cotton and whatnot and the fabrics I have chosen for this project is this will be the base of the apron. For pockets in the secondary fabric, we're gonna be using this other blood drip, so the drip's gonna go down like that. And then behind the pockets, like I stated, the drip is gonna go as a little design, which is this stuff, just to give it a little bit more pop color. And then for a little fun detail, because everyone else was doing it, so I might as well just follow through, we're gonna use this Rick Rack as just like the outer line of it you know so that's the agenda today I've never sewn an apron but I mean if I can sew costumes if I could sew apparel and if I can make bow cozies and my coffin shaped wallets should be no problem usually I have to use like maybe four or five pattern pieces because you know everything is always different but it looks like judging from this I'm gonna need all 13, 13 pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting away and then I'll show you how I'll be sh sewing it. And here is the apron. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, after finishing it and watching this clip, I kind of wish I put some blood drips on in the upper pocket. But all in all, I'm really happy with it. I love how it turned out. And uh, not my favorite thing to make, that's for sure. 
If you guys like this video of my bloody apron or at least like the design of it, please give this video a nice like. And if you follow me and my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box as well. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see further content I will be doing for the rest of the month of October for the 31 days of Halloween challenge. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I will see you all in my tomorrow's video. Take care. Bye.